Jungle is uh, based on a true story uh, about Yossi Ginsberg getting lost in the Amazon jungle in 1981. A lot of great stories are basically ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances. This is one of those stories where you have just a average young guy who is traveling and he finds himself in the most extreme situation, which is basically fighting for survival in the Amazon uh, rainforest. What Yossi went through and the fact that he's alive is is miraculous, whether or not you believe in like miracles in the traditional sense, but it certainly was against the odds. Several times he blatantly should have died and for whatever reason, be it providence or luck or whatever it is in the universe that, that decides someone's fate, they chose him to live. It's a survival story, but more than just a regular survival story, it's a story about finding the hero within you. It's turning the jungle, which was the biggest enemy, into his provider. I think it's a movie with a heart and I think that uh, Greg brings that vision. It's, a, it's not about adventure, it's about transformation. You know, the adventure is the background. But it's about the human spirit and about uh, the, the discovery of self and about transformation. It's about friendship and the tragedy um, that happens when friendship collapse. It's not Oregon, Kevin, but I guess you'll never get it, huh? You have no idea. Okay, shut up, what can you Carl, tell us the plan. You know, I kind of call him a accidental Buddha in the sense that basically he's a guy who, who fell into a situation that became something very bad, but through that discovered something quite profound that is an important idea, I think. For me, it's interesting making a story that there's a very genuine, moving, interesting kernel at the heart of this concept that I think is something that people will be moved by and interested in because it's about what people can do under extraordinary circumstances. Survival is why we're here, you know? We know how to survive, that's why we're here. We don't need to learn it. However, we don't know that we know, and that's the big discovery that I had. I discovered that I'm actually a great survivor. It wasn't my image of myself before because we don't get a, a chance to really survive. So the film Jungle is about uh, three new friends that all meet together. This is my friend, Yossi Kinsberg. Hey, I'm Kevin Gale. Good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. And they, they decide on making a journey to the middle of the jungle with someone that they've just met. Oh, what? <laughs> We're going to have the best time. And now if we got That was the allure of the jungle in the first place to these guys, to Yossi, Marcus and, and Kevin. Speaking to Carl, this wanderer and this devil character, he was something of a beautiful, dangerous mystery, just like the jungle. So I think it's going to add to the film. And Yossi was just like, yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. This is the real experience that I've been wanting all this time. And so he, he does go in with Carl and Carl walks a really fine line the whole time between uh, somebody who is just great fun and, and charismatic and, and interesting. The jungle shows us what we really are. We are nothing. And somebody who's got a real kind of streak of danger running through them and a real edge to them that you're not quite sure what they're going to do next. What makes it why I wanted to do it and, and why I find it exciting is the story and the film wouldn't be interesting to me if it's like a trip uh, of a couple of backpackers who meet crazy German and, gotcha. uh, and a couple of them get lost and that's it. I think the movie only works if it's, if it's emotionally uh, uh, grabbing you. It's got a lot of action the, and I think that the action and the entertainment aspects are earned with very well built drama and tension and conflict. Someone read the script recently and they didn't know it was based on a true story and they were just like saying, wow, what an amazing adventure story. And like, no, no, it's, it's really happened. And so just as a pure adventure story, it works. Everything is, is real in this movie. Uh, all the events, um, everything that you see, maybe not exactly the, the dialogue, uh, you know, but this is a true story and uh, I think uh, the movie does justice to, to this true story. I've played real people before, but I've never played a real person who's still alive. So it was amazing having him as, as a resource and just to be able to, you know, to be able to turn around to somebody and go like, well, what did you do? You know, what, what were you thinking at this moment? So I, I, I lived through it. The story I, I always felt is much bigger than me. And when I found that story immediately, um, I needed to tell the story.
It was also very cathartic to write the book. The book wrote itself completely. I had no clues that I can even write. We were lucky because when he when he wrote the book, he wrote it right after he survived. So it's very, very authentic and raw. And it's not a person who's writing about it 30 years after the event and remembering. Well, I don't think we've be, ever been involved in a film where we have to rely on so much accuracy because we have uh, with, with Yossi here on set and obviously had written the book and, and co-written the script. It's his story and Greg went out of his way to tell as much of the story that was humanly possible. I actually had heard of this movie because it was, it's been around for quite a while, this script. Um, uh, it just came to me, I read it and immediately just you know thought it was an incredible story. And then I read the book and I thought, oh my God, this is actually all true. And then uh, I just you know went on a quest to try and work out how I could get to direct it. I read the book many years ago and loved it. The book stayed with me and inspired me and kind of gave, gave me strength. I think that Yossi's story, that survival story, is so primal, so strong, that it can inspire and give strength to everybody, anybody that reads the book or watches the movie. The movie was the hardest process. It actually took 26 years. I arrived in uh, California, in, in, in Los Angeles, in 1990 with my book. And we were up and down with this project many, many times. We were even um, financed with a full cast and three weeks before production, and it fell apart. But again, I had to convince him, no, Yossi, we're going to make the movie. I'm going to make it, I promise you. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity that he gave me to, to be able to uh, bring this alive. Yossi was phenomenal and very gracious at his time and very gracious to come and spend time and you know work on the script and we kind of basically you know we had the shooting script and then when we started he just came down and we just sat in the room for two weeks and just sort of I just got out of him all the things that I wanted to know about the sequences and what really happened and we actually t turned a lot of things back into what really happened because if you're doing a true story what you want to know is tell me so I understand what happened so then I can reinterpret it into cinematic terms and the screenplay I think did justice to the story um, but yet it needed you know, to be in the form of a movie, so I have to accept it. And then the actors come in and they bring themselves as well, and they need to interpret it because they live the characters and they want to express themselves and they need creative freedom. There is something almost otherworldly and mystical about him, but he's a, a really a incredibly interesting guy and, and somebody who had, had a huge amount to offer the set, but also was very good at sort of letting go and knowing that it's a film and that some stuff will be different and some stuff will change. Um, this is Yossi's yeah, uh, last day on set. Yeah. Unbelievably. The resemblance is uncanny. Luckily, this Yossi stays on set for a couple of weeks oh, more. Oh, yeah. I have, I, have, yeah. I have much more time. I like uh, you being Yossi yeah. Ginsburg. I am uh, very glad. I don't I, know who I like more. If, I, I, if I please this man, yeah. then that's all I have to worry about. Yeah. So. Oh, you do. You do. It's an honor. Awesome. The story is just so gr brilliant and incredible on its own. And then Justin Monjo, uh, the writer, he gave us a sense of the arc and also structured the screenplay incredibly well, but it's just irreplaceable to have someone like Yossi there. This happened to him, and it just reminds you that it's something bigger than a movie, you know? And in a way, that kind of takes the pressure off because you just kind of feel grateful just to be a part of the whole thing. In general, you know, it's for me, it's a huge celebration just to see it happening and to be on set, and also just to be part of, uh, of the process of making a movie. It's fascinating and addictive. There's a lot of detachment, and yet there's some scenes that really move me very, very deeply, and those are the scenes that uh, I see Marcus, you know, because um, it hurts me. <laughs> it hurts me to see him hurt on the set. You know, Joel is doing a great job, but his suffering really breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Having Yossi on set watching me recreate Marcus or um, inhabit that role was fantastic because you could tell if it was a good take or not because you just look past the monitor and look at Yossi whilst looking at Greg. But knowing that you reached him, a part of his soul or a part of his heart or his ethos, that meant that you were touching on something that was very close to the surface and that was a, a true memory or something that he, he knew, which ultimately was what we were going for to get that real experience that is inside Yossi.
Yossi is a very interesting man and a very fascinating character and it's his story so there's a kind of duty of care to being the storyteller to this tale. To tell you the truth I'm not sure I remember anymore you know for me sometimes watching it is more real than what happened to me but I think the essence is there the story is there it's very easy to invent a couple of jaguars a few snakes throw them on people and it's not about that it's about the character those characters are tremendous. They represent for me much more uh, than just my friends. Kevin, here! And the giants for Kevin! me, and to see them come to life, each with uh, their attributes and, and uh, uniqueness. Those were real people. Two never came back. So it's important to respect their memory and their legacy. I think Yossi's story, although it's very, very extreme, is applicable to lots and lots of people, whether it's people that are suffering with illness or any, anybody who is battling any kind of adversity. There is a, a message here in that Yossi is somebody who went into this journey completely unprepared. He had no warning, he had no training for this situation, and purely based on his instincts and willingness to survive and his determination, um, he was able to survive. I think any production that attempts to put the action where it's actually scripted, so not using green screens, using real actors, using real stuntmen, people who are willing to go that extra mile to make their audience on the edge of their seat or to fully believe in the story and to really feel for the characters, I admire that. It's got a lot of colour and flavour and light and shade. Um, I think it's a really, really fun movie, but then ultimately it's like a survival film um, with a lot of darkness and a lot of honesty. When you lose it all, you discover it all. And what you discover is, is that that materiality and the things we cling to are really, really meaningless. And ultimately, beyond all that, we're all just basically existing in this planet and we all should just work together and be together because we're all one, which sounds kind of cliched and wanky, but when you've experienced it in a very pure way like this, it's a very profound thing. Sometimes you need to get lost in order to find yourself, you know? So actually being lost, by being lost, you shed everything, you know? Like I, I lost everything, not just got lost, but by losing everything, what did I lose? I lost what wasn't mine, because what was mine cannot be lost. And that discovery is an awakening. And it's a universal discovery. It's not about me, it's about you know, I want that transformation. I want people to feel that, to get empowered. So I think there's like a really mystical um, aspect to the story that is just, you know, it's wild. I mean, I love it. I think that that's why I'm doing it, because I feel like it's, um, it's a story that makes me sort of cry sometimes, because I think about it, it gives me a little tear, and I just think it's a really profound story. And I hope other audiences, I hope audiences, you know, agree when they see it. And the other thing is the essence of just being part of, the, of this beautiful world, the rainforest that symbolizes life on this planet and harmony. I'd like this movie to be of meaning. It's a great adventure and it's a great story and this is very important because if it's not a great adventure, not a great story, we wouldn't fall in love enough to allow it to penetrate the heart and transform us. So this is the lure of the movie, but within that lure, um, I hope, and aspire that it will touch many people and you know contribute to this transformation